Hello, we are the team from Sanford University, Sanford University Bulldogs for Biodiversity. I'm Anthony Overton. I'm Alex. I'm Zach. I'm Lee. And I'm Lisa. And we are participating in the Cahaba River Society annual Catfish Friday. So, Zach, tell us what's on the menu. Today we have garlic parm parmesan risotto with grilled cod, and for a seafood meatless option, we're making a crabless crab cake. Hmm, that sounds good. Wait, we're not having any dessert? Well, the dessert sounds fine. What do you want for dessert? I'll take bread pudding. All right. You know I love making bread pudding. Bread pudding it is. I'll make my special bread pudding. You all join us and come along on our journey. Zach, let's get started on the crab cakes. All right, so for the crab cakes, the meat base is made out of three things. Uh, chickpeas, hearts of palm, and artichokes. We're going to shred and dice and mash all of these into a mix um, and use a lot of different spices and herbs and seasonings to resemble a fish-like flavor, um, seafood-like flavor. The main ingredient is going to be, uh, in this dish is going to be shredded seaweed. Shredded seaweed is going to help give it that fishy seaweed flavor as well as plenty of Old Bay. So first thing I'm going to do is prep all my items. I'm going to go ahead and get to cutting, mashing, and dicing. Um, all of these items as well as dicing my white onion. Um, this is all going to go in the bowl and I'll show you the next second after that. I'm going to go ahead and start with the bread pudding because that's what's going to take the longest. Bread pudding is so easy because it's only a few ingredients. Uh, we have milk. Uh, today we're going to use little brioche bread, cinnamon, vanilla extract, eggs, butter, and light sugar. That's all it is to it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, I finished up the bread pudding. Uh, that is in the oven for 45 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the fish because the fish is kind of a two-step process. Uh, what I have here, I have um, a couple of pieces of uh, Alaskan cod. Um, I have lemons, butter, seasoning, and olive oil. So I'm gonna brown, uh, both brown and color the fish in a cast iron pan and then finish it on broil in the oven. Uh, I'll go ahead and get started. So next, I've finished the fish. Um, I'm waiting for it to finish in the oven. Uh, next step is cooking uh, our risotto. So today we're doing a uh, kind of Parmesan creamy risotto. So these are the main ingredients for uh, for the rice. I got chicken stock already going on the, the um, the stove ready to go and it's a little bit different process to cook this than regular rice but uh, when done right it comes out nicely. I'll go ahead and get started. All right after all this work we finally have a final product. Here is our final product. We have a um, parmesan risotto. Here is a cod filet that is broiled. Zach tell them about the, um, the crab cake. So this is actually a crabless cake. So it's a vegetarian, meat-free um, crab cake. is made with a blend of different um, heart vegetables, so heart of palm, artichoke hearts, as well as chickpeas um, that I season with Old Bay, may mayonnaise, lemon, classic Old Bay, um, seafood seasonings, and I pan fry them with uh, garlic and fresh herbs and panko. Okay, and finally we have our bread pudding. It has a lemon blueberry cream sauce to finish it with, and that's our final product.